Hi guys, it's Angela with Kelly Mom Collects and today I have another bag of jewelry to open for you guys. I hope you guys are all doing well and for anybody that doesn't know, I am a part-time reseller on eBay and I buy these large jewelry hauls, bags, jars, boxes, whatever I could get my hands on to resell on in my eBay store. So. Let's go ahead and get into this bag and see if there's anything good. So I'm going to dump this out and pull pieces one by one to show you guys. Okay, first thing I notice is this beautiful necklace, very vintage looking to me with these pearls and gold tone accents here in the front. It's three layer and it looks like there was a tag attached to it because there's part of it still there. That looks like Napier. Yeah, that says Napier and there's a patent number underneath it, but this necklace looks brand new and it's beautiful. Okay, this is gorgeous and it feels very well made. Let's see if I see any marks on the inside, no. The stretch is really nice. This one's pretty. All the stones look to be there. Gorgeous. Well, this is a beautiful bracelet. The gold tone is super bright and these faceted lime green beads are beautiful. They feel like glass. This bracelet is gorgeous. Can't see any marks, but I love this one. We have a St. Jude necklace still in the little plastic box. Oh my goodness, look at this bracelet, guys. It is awesome. It's vintage for sure and it is gorgeous. It has these faceted glass beads and then this antiqued gold tone design. This is beautiful. How gorgeous is this? The color of this is like a burnt orange. That's how I can describe it. It's orange, but it has like a, a very rich color to it. Oh, this piece is beautiful. I don't see any marks. But I'm so excited about this one, guys. All right, we have some rose quartz and fasted pink glass beads. Let's see, do I need to get out a little bit? Yeah. We have this little silver tone clasp. This one's beautiful.
I love the glass beads with the stone beads. That looks really nice. Okay, excited about that one. We've got a pink, peach, peach and rhinestone stretch bracelet. Not seeing any marks on it. All the stones look to be there. Cute. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm getting excited. Lots of stone jewelry so far. Okay. This one's really interesting. So, I don't know what this stone is. It could be a moss agate, but it has these tubular parts, beads right here. And then it has all of these. Let me know if you guys know what stone this is. Super cool. Awesome piece. Look at how gorgeous this necklace is. So we have a carved bone rose. Now I definitely see texture in this pendant. You can see that is it definitely some type of bone. And then these turquoise beads, stones. Gorgeous. And then I can see here it says 925. This piece, guys, is definitely going in my collection. This is beautiful. And two, I'm not really, I don't really know how to differentiate between ivory and bone. I know that they say ivory has lines. And I definitely see a pattern in a line, but, but I don't know. Maybe you guys do. So I wouldn't be comfortable selling, reselling something like this. But it's beautiful. I love it. To be honest with you, I wouldn't sell it anyways because I love it. I forgot about this piece. So we have definitely some sort of crystal here, just on a simple rope chain. This is awesome. So there's blacks and whites in this crystal. Beautiful, guys. Okay, this is gorgeous and very vintage looking. These look like little jade beads. I will test them later, but they look like jade and there's this gold tone not seeing any marks on this brooch, but it's awesome. Okay, this one looks nice. This one is in great condition. We've got this chunky link gold bracelet with little Pave rhinestones in the center there. 
It's a Victoria's Secrets bracelet. Victoria's Secrets. And the little angel wings. This one's pretty. Great condition on this bracelet and very heavy. Save that one. Okay. We're gonna have to scoot back for this necklace. So we have lots of faceted glass beads in this silver tone fixture. No marks on this one, but this is pretty. really sparkles in the different color blues and silver. Beautiful. Okay, was this bag made for me or what? I am in love with all these stone pieces. So we have here a chunky turquoise pendant on this clear glass and gold tone bead. Awesome. Oh, and I see something else. Oh my goodness, look at, it's another crystal. And this one, I don't know if you can see. Let's see, let me put it down. Can you see the red inside the crystal? There's reds and almost yellows, and this is like a, it looks black, but it's like a deep, deep green. Just on a simple gold colored cord, the crystal is the star of the show. Beautiful. All right. Let's scoot back, I'm really close. Okay, this bracelet is beautiful. I see enameled flowers with purple crystals on this very, very, oh, am I, hold on. Let me scoot back a little bit. This very, very gold, tone great condition we've got a little push clasp here okay I see some writing on the inside of this piece right there let's see can you see so I see some writing there let me get my loop and see if I can see what it says Okay guys, this, this print is in um, some type of Asian print. I'm trying to see if you can see. If anybody knows that. I don't know if that's Chinese writing. but almost like a cloisonne look here on the bracelet. This is gorgeous. Goodness. Let me see. It's not magnetic. It looks like it could be gold. It's so vibrant. Or gold plated or something like that. gorgeous piece. Wow. Look at this peacock brooch. She's beautiful. Let's get in close. 
She's got the Aurora Borealis crystals. The blue crystal eye. This one is just magnificent. There's a antique gold tone, almost silver tone. It's, it's different. You don't see any marks on the back. But this one's beautiful. Gorgeous. So this right here, oops, sorry. This right here says St. John. So for anybody that doesn't know, St. John is a very high end clothing and jewelry maker. These look like pearls, but are this champagne foil look, and then this bronze brown colored foil look. On this bronze clasp, this piece is beautiful. It's brand new. It says combo pearl, but the price was cut off. I was curious what this cost. Let's scoot back a little bit. This bracelet is awesome. And I will look up what St. John bracelets are going for, but this one will for sure be a seller. It's beautiful very heavy and well-made. St. John is so expensive. Oh, guys, this bag is phenomenal. Like, I'm so excited. This is a blue stone with a glass and silver pendant and it says something on the back here it says Mexico 925 so this silver here you can see the backing is silver and then it has this beautiful glass piece on what looks like lapis beads it's a little bit tangled in a knot. So odd. Let's see. Guys, this piece is beautiful. Okay, I was able to get it untangled. Okay, so it's a double strand. Lapis, silver, and decorative glass. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. You can bet that this piece is going into my collection. One of these days, I'll have to just show you guys my collection of stone jewelry. I just can't get enough of this. It's beautiful. Look how bright those stone beads are. Oh my. Okay, this one looks pretty. very sparkly with these beads and it has a little matching bracelet. So they have that rainbow sheen to them. Almost like a watermelon crystal. See that? That's beautiful. Then this big silver bead 
which looks like it could be real silver. And then these faceted beads. Let's see if there's any marks on this. To me, this looks like this could be silver. The little clasp is tiny though, oh my goodness. Let me get my loop out. Ooh, I do see, it says 925. And I don't think that you guys will be able to see it, but it says 925 on this fixture. This is a beautiful set. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I just can't get over this bag, how awesome it is. Okay, this one is beautiful. This is rose quartz, and then I don't know what this stone is. Let me show you closely. It's like a deep pink, almost like a raspberry color, light raspberry, deep pink. Silver, which definitely this looks like real silver. This piece is beautiful. Let's look at the clasp. Nine two five, right there. Another beautiful piece. And I have a gem tester. I will test this gem. But it has like this really dark pink color to it. So it's not looking amethyst or garnet to me. We'll see what the gem tester says. I have a bag here. Guys, isn't this bag amazing? Oh my gosh. Sometimes you just get a really, really good one. And sometimes you get a really bad one. But this one is really good. And these earrings are beautiful too. They look like little wings made out of mother of pearl. I see a print on the hook there. Those say 925 on the hook. These are beautiful. It's nice that they kept them in the bag so they didn't get ruined because these feel pretty delicate. Oh my goodness. We still got quite a bit. We've, oh. We're really close, that's what we are. Okay, we have some brand new Kendra Scott earrings. Kendra, Kendra Scott jewelry is very expensive. Gold tone hoops with little pearl accents and little crystals. These are beautiful. I will look those up. We have another brooch. I see it's missing one of its panel crystal pieces here. Bummer. This one's still beautiful. Kind of has like this, looks like a leaf, but it's swirled. No markings that I can see. That's a beautiful piece though. This is orange dyed shell and little pearl necklace. It's short, 
it would sit near the neck. That says something. Tang Yu. Tang Yu. Y U E. Nice. Ooh, another one, guys. Oh my goodness. This bag just keeps getting better. So this one too has the writing and let me try to get it to focus for you guys. Can you see it? So this one has a orange Kind of cloisonne style here on the open work with stones and it's just beautiful they're heavy too just gorgeous i hope those are real gold gosh that would be awesome another brooch with aurora borealis beads sparkly and beautiful Oh, and this is the matching bracelet to that other necklace that we had earlier. How awesome to have some sets. That's cool. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Another brooch. Ooh, ooh, I see it. it this one is a crown trafari. Let's see if I can get it to, so you guys can see it. So there's Trafari and Crown Trafari, and the Crown Trafari is more sought after and more valuable. And this one, there's a crown above the T. And that's what you're looking for. This one has it. This is a beautiful piece. This one looks like a slinky. Oh my goodness. So we have a slinky bracelet with turquoise colors and silver. This one looks fun. If I can get it on. Oh my goodness. I think you have to go like this. All right, I've got it. This one is super fun and it's pretty. It's kind of an ordeal to get it on and off though. You have to be patient for that one. What do we got going on here? Okay, we'll put that aside. We have a Chanel keychain wrapped in plastic. So I'm actually, that's not a keychain. I think this was part of a purse, but I don't think Chanel purses have plastic. So I think this is just a faux Chanel piece. A fakey. Okay, now this looks like a little bird's nest of citrine and pearls. And this definitely looks like silver. Okay, so this wire, it's a choker. Gosh, that would, this would actually, this is very rough. It would be very uncomfortable on, I would think. But it is very pretty. A very naturalistic look to it. But goodness, this would drive me crazy on my neck. I don't see marks. You can't, it is adjustable.
these pieces definitely look like silver to me. So I think that the fixture pieces here are silver. I don't think that the wire is silver, but then these look like citrine and pearls to me. Very interesting, but it looks like a bird's nest. All right, we have some more brooches, some more beautiful brooches. This I can see that says Napier. And that one's beautiful with that swirl. And this leaf brooch, very simple with this little tiny pearl there. I don't see any marks on this one. This cute little dog with a bone enamel brooch. No marks that I can see. This gorgeous, like cherry tree looking brooch with the pearls and these stones. This one's very interesting. I don't see marks on it. But this one's, this looks like a cherry blossom tree. This is gorgeous. I've never seen something like that before. That's beautiful. Then we have this little, that has a mark in there. I see a mark. Okay, this says 120, 12, or it looks like 12 karat gold film, GF. GF means gold filled. Looks like that could be a little garnet in there. This is a pretty brooch too. These are awesome. Now I see some more rings. Let's let's try to do all the rings, go through all the rings. Is that all of them? We're getting down to the last stuff, so. Okay, let's start with this one first. We've got a skull with a rose on the head. This reminds me of um, some of Betsy Johnson pieces. I don't see any marks. It has the gun metal. Okay, I'm starting to get the shakes. That means no more coffee and time for some food. But let's get through these first. This looks like a pearl. The ring is fading. So that's just a fashion piece. We have a rose gold ring that still has the tag on it. So I think this is a brand new piece. No marks. But that one's pretty. We have a plastic ring, pink, pink plastic. We have this ruby red colored stone. No marks. Faceted stone on here. It looks looks lab created to me and I didn't see any marks on the chain but this is still pretty it's still really pretty let's see if this one's magnetic oh we got a little friend a little gold bracelet with some faceted colorful beads actually I'm gonna put that aside because those look like they could be gold pieces. We'll check that out later. Okay, 
That one's not magnetic. We have this cluster ring. No marks on this one either. But these actually look like there's abalone and pearls and stones in this. This looks interesting. Cluster, very fun and colorful. Well, that's bright. Gold tone, big cabochon, heavy, this is heavy. If you had this set, that would be cool. That's actually kind of a neat piece. It's kind of fluorescent. Awesome. I don't see any marks on this ring, but that kind of looks like blue topaz. It has a baby blue color to it. Some fading on the ring, but this one's pretty. Another cluster ring with faceted stones, wire wrapped. Cool. This one has an antique gold tone to it with a pearl center. This looks like a fashion ring to me. That's fun. This piece. Ooh, there's markings on the inside of this one. Okay, what does this say? 18 karat HGE, heavy gold electroplate. So this is 18 karat gold plated. And I don't know, that stone kind of looks like a um, smoky quartz. Very neat and modern, modern classy. That's what I would call this because that setting is pretty cool. Awesome. Little hammered gold tone. There's an M on the inside of this one. Not in the best shape, this ring. And then last ring is this one and I can already see some fading at the tips of these settings. So I think this is just a fashion piece. So those were awesome rings. And then let's see what else we have. We have these rose gold bangle bracelets. I see the safety clasps on them. So I'm very interested to see what they say in here. Oops. So that on the inside here says 925 Sun. So this is a rose gold over sterling silver. And they, it looks like a set to me. They all have the similar clasps on it. So I think this is a little set. Super cute. Oh yeah. I can see on the inside of this one too that has the same mark. I'm trying to get it so you guys can see, but they say the same thing. Cute rose gold over sterling silver bracelets. Save that one. We've got a stone, blue stone stretch bracelet. 
And then this one, I already see it. I already see the B. This is a Brighton bracelet. I sell a lot of Brighton pieces. They are great sellers and this bracelet is super cute with the heart charms. Awesome. Awesome, awesome bag. We have a Buddha charm on a simple wood necklace. Buddha pendant. We've got open mouth lips that look like the teeth are diamonds. This is different. This is really different. I don't see any marks, but there's that. I don't know what to think of that one. The matching bracelet to that necklace we saw earlier. We've got cute little pumpkin earrings. Those are adorable. Jack-o'-lanterns. What does that say? Nineteen ninety HMK, which is Hallmark. So these are vintage Jack Leonard earrings from Hallmark. That's awesome. Okay, this is cool. These are stone. I can tell they're stone and they are carved into the shape of animals. White stones and green stones and little carnelian beads. This one's pretty awesome. Oh my goodness, the matching earrings. So we have a complete set to that one as well. That's cool. All right, we have some earrings. We have these silver and pearl drop earrings. Cute. We have these little pearl and crystal earrings. No marks. These are gorgeous. These beautiful, either CZ or crystal. Earrings. That backing does not want to go back on for me, so I'm going to leave it off for now. Those are beautiful. Teardrop. Gorgeous, gorgeous. These ones. These ones are interesting. These look like lapis to me. And the gold actually looks like it could be gold. Let's see if they're magnetic. I'm going to test these ones, guys. These ones might be gold. Little lapis studs with a gold tone around that I will test to see if that's real gold or not. We have some pearl earrings, gray pearl earrings. These ones are a little misshapen. Ooh, I see something. I see something right there. Oh my goodness, these are 14 karat. 
Well, it says P 14 carat, so they might be 14 carat plated, but the P is first, so that's different. It says P 14K. Gorgeous. Silver hoops with little crystal accents. These are super cute. Silver bows with little crystal accents on the bottom. Beautiful. More of these earrings from earlier with the mother of pearl and silver. And I can see that they're, they're the same. It has the same mark. We've got some little pink cat earrings. Cute. Little stud earrings. These look like silver. There's a tarnish to them. Cute. I'm dropping them. And then last, we have these heart earrings with this faceted stone. Looks like a crystal. I do see a mark here on the back. Let me look closer. A C, oh, and a swan. These are little Swarovski crystal earrings. Oh my goodness, this bag is like probably one of the best ones that I have opened. So many amazing pieces in this bag. So these are little Swarovski crystal heart earrings. We're down to the last bits, guys. Last couple things. This, we've got little pearls. It's a bracelet. It's very dainty and thin. But this looks interesting. This looks vintage. Look at, look at the little fixtures up here, a little fastener pieces. Those look silver and then they have some type of um, mark on it that kind of looks like a sun. That looks like a vintage, a vintage necklace with silver pieces and pearls. Last but not least, this is the last bits and they're all little pendants. Just the pendants, no necklaces with these. Look at how cute this turtle is. We have a little turtle. Looks like it's on a little silver fixture. Actually says something there. I don't even know what that says. One zero zero zero. It's one thousand. It just says one zero zero zero. I don't think I'll be able to get it to show you guys, but anyways, the turtle is super cute. We've got this big one. That one says something on the inside. Okay. Ikora. I K O R A. And then there's a symbol up top that could be. Oh, yeah, I don't think I can. No, that's not going to work. Icora. I haven't heard of that. I'll look that up. We've got this awesome dragon. Stainless steel. That's super cool. This little pearl. That says something. 
This is 925. So we have a little heart, silver heart with a pearl pendant, very dainty. And then this last piece is just a little crystal, a cube crystal, and it looks like it's on a silver piece. So I got through that bag. It took a while. Um, hopefully this video is not going to be too long, but I'm going to go ahead and pull back my favorite pieces, which pretty much is the entire bag. So let me do that and end this video. Okay, guys, here it is. All of my favorites. They, they don't even fit. They don't fit in this shot. Um, so many natural stone pieces. This lapis necklace with the Mexican silver and glass is just gorgeous. The crystal pieces, this carved bone and turquoise piece, the vintage pieces over here, um, the very interesting bracelets that has the Asian writing on the inside, the Kendra Scott earrings, the St. John bracelet, I, I honestly could go on and on. There was a little bit of everything in this lot from stone to silver, to some gold, to some vintage. Um, I'm just so overwhelmed with excitement. I honestly, I don't know what to think, but so I'm gonna have to decide which pieces I'm gonna keep, which pieces I'm gonna sell. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching me open this bag. And um, if you are not, please subscribe. And until next time, guys, thank you for watching. Bye.